What's up guys, welcome back to Becoming an Ultra Runner. This is what I'm calling season two and it's all about my journey from this point up to my 50 mile race in the summer, the Lakeland 50. Um, right, enough talking, let's go running. So, Sunday and I'm going out for my long run, but the tricky bit is where to go, because my original plan, um, not possible, then my backup plan is also not possible, so now I drop it down to my third plan, which is my normal route up around Redtree. It's not quite as hilly as I'd like today, but um, I don't really have many choices, to be honest. There's no chance I'll get up to Brecon. I did go out for a run yesterday. I had an hour and a half of running yesterday uh, with some tempo kind of intervals in the middle and that went really well but the weather was a lot worse yesterday. Uh, it was slightly warmer yesterday, it was about 9 or 10 degrees, it's 5 today but there was a lot heavier rain um, and parts of where I was running was so deep it was like a good 3 or 4 inches above ankle height and when you're trying to do a tempo effort it was quite um, quite challenging but I had a lot of fun um, and that session went really well so today is long run it is zone one and zone two it's two hours and 45 minutes and it is 40 meters of elevation per kilometer What's up guys? So I'm just at the top of the first climb. It's been about 30 or 40 minutes. Um, a bit frustrating because I'd like to run, but uh, that's the course I picked today. Uh, I need to keep my heart rate zone one or zone two. So that's why I'm walking up this hill. Um, frustratingly, got my heart rate monitor and my watch battery is on like five percent so I had to go old school and I'm using Strava on, the, on my phone um, and I'm drawing everything else based off effort level so from the last maybe five or six weeks of training I've had a I've got a good idea now about what my zone two feels like and I know that if I tried to burst into any sort of jog or power hike up here, it's going to tip me into that next zone, so there's no point. Um, with a lot of these long runs, it's all about just being out there and being on my feet and moving for that amount of time and getting the elevation in. So, these trees are dodgy. If I get five minutes to run in a bit, I'll be very happy. There is a downhill section coming up, so it's going to be a couple of K downhill and another long climb, probably 20-30 minutes of climbing again and then short down, short up, then along a ridge line, which I'm, I am looking forward to, but it's very windy and it's quite exposed up here today, so who knows what the running is going to be like. What's up guys? So I am on my next big climb. Um, probably halfway up now um, because I'm forced to walk on these sections it gives me a good chance to chat to you guys so <clears throat> it's 2 hours 45 today and I'm about an hour 15 in so just short of halfway um, so when I was out here last week running through this, this part of the woods um, a massive tree branch fell about 10 meters in front of me um, so very lucky I was slow on that day oh, that could have ended really badly um, 
So I think I've really lucked out with the weather today because uh, so if you guys that are interested, I'm kind of on my second little four week block now and this is the end of week two. So I've got one more big week, uh, similar to this week, but we'll end in a three hour long run. Then I get a nice recovery week. Um, what I'm finding is that I'm coping quite well with um, the training over a three week period. And then that fourth week is kind of perfect. It comes along at the exact right moment. me guys that was absolutely brutal up there uh, we were on the ridge line so it's loads and loads of wind and then it was so muddy through the fields it was like ankle deep at times with the wind blowing in your face now it was about half a k of just powering through mud and sludge oh, it's really hammering it down now guys we're not even two hours in yet. So, dropping down, big climb up the Philly Mountain. I'm gonna get to the very top and then back down and I'll just weave in and out the woods to make it up to 2.45. Should be pretty good then. All right, I'm gonna run for a bit. See you later. Yo, what's up guys? So it has stopped raining for two minutes and I've got about 25 minutes left on this long run. So I've just come down a gnarly downhill section and I've got no idea how far I've run today because it's all on my phone. No idea what elevation I've got, but I know generally here I'm usually a bit short when going for 40 meters elevation per kilometer. So with this 25 minutes I got left, I'm gonna head up here, there's a very steep climb back up to the ridgeway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head up there, see if I can get an extra 50 or 100 meters in, and then back down, and then back to the car, and that should be 245. Yo, what's up guys? So that's uh, week one of the vlog completed. So for any of you guys new to the vlog or haven't seen many episodes before, the kind of thing that you should expect from my episodes are going out on long runs and exploring new trails or kind of heading up to Brecon, going up the beacons and pushing myself up there. Um, you will get more running as um, kind of the months go along and the days get longer because at the moment there's no point taking my camera out at night it's pitch black what you probably won't be getting from me is stuff like gear reviews and massive in-depth training talks that's generally not what i'm about the vlog is mostly just about me getting from where i am up to the lakeland 50 and hopefully doing really well in that race 
and how I fit all that training around my life, around my wife, my kids, my job, my other hobbies, filmmaking and such. It's all a mix of kind of how that all fits together and as the training increases, how I manage to make it all work. So hopefully you guys find that interesting. Um, so just for you guys, I'm currently six weeks into my training plan. All is going really well. I mean, at the start I had a few little issues with my calves being really tight and the knee being sore, but that's kind of eased slightly over the last six weeks and I feel like I'm running a lot better now. I'm feeling stronger. Um, I'm feeling really good actually. I've Maybe not as fast as I've been in the past, but I'm definitely feeling as strong as I've ever been, which is great. And we're only like six weeks into this training plan. There's another kind of five months to go till race day. So, so much time left in the plan. Right guys, before I go, um, I wanna just introduce a new section at the end of every one of my videos now. I wanna quickly promote another running channel. Um, there's an awesome running community on YouTube, loads of videos, loads of awesome people doing videos. The first channel I wanna talk about this week is the year I got the runs. Um, first of all, awesome channel name, <laughs> probably the best out there. Um, content, massively different to mine where Mine is about, you know, kind of a long distance training plan, you know, for several months, building up to one key race. Um, with Jason and his videos, what you tend to get is pretty much a race every week, kind of 5K, 10K distance. And he's kind of showing off all these awesome races that they have in the US. Really nice guy, awesome videos. Please go on his channel, subscribe and watch a few of his videos. He will really appreciate it and I'd really appreciate it. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I will be back next week with a three hour long run with hill reps up in Brecon and some other stuff. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching. It keeps me motivated. Any comments or feedback, leave it below.